So we're buyers agents, we talk to a lot of clients and often what we hear from Sydney clients is that we, we hear something like, oh look, Sydney gets all the, all the growth, I want to buy in Sydney. And while there, while there is fantastic buying opportunity in Sydney, we're active around the, well certainly across six major capitals. And the fact that, um, or the, I suppose the statement that Sydney gets all the growth, that's really a myth. What this chart looks at is uh, growth across Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and Perth over the last 17 years. And if you look at those figures in the top left hand corner, you can actually see that Melbourne outperformed. So Melbourne got more growth than Sydney and Brisbane. Sydney and Brisbane were pretty much identical over that period. Uh, Perth was a little bit less, but I think the idea that Sydney gets all the growth um, is, a, is, is certainly um, uh, not something that you, you want to believe. And I think the reason that this is important is that, particularly if you're looking for an investment, we certainly buy clients, we buy plenty of homes for clients, we certainly buy plenty of investments as well. And the reason that is an important idea for Sydney, Sydney is an expensive market for investors. Growth typically follows yield and on this basis alone, Sydney, you can see there is a very expensive market with the lowest yields in the country um, at 3% and that was uh, in December's figures. We had a rate cut yesterday. Uh, this is, I really like this chart. What this chart shows is what happens when interest rates fall. And you can see that uh, not surprisingly, there's a very clear correlation between rate cuts and dwelling price growth. So this is the zero line. Anything above here is positive growth. Anything below here is negative growth. And you can see here that these dots are rate cuts by the RBA. And you can see that there's a strong correlation between when we got those rate cuts and growth that followed soon after.